You know, a lot of people ask me why I tell these very detailed stories about my wife, and some people it makes them very uncomfortable. Uh, they don't really understand it. It's like, well, are you not um, honoring your wife by telling these stories, or you're disparaging her somehow? And in reality, nothing could be further from the truth. Or some people might say, well, you're not over it. You know, you were codependent, and you still are. You know, that, that, that's not the point of any of these videos, and it's just wholly inaccurate. And the only reason why I address, you know, those kind of comments is because the reason why I do this is to help other families. And in reality, most of the stories that I tell happened long ago. I mean, she died a little over four years ago. So any stories that I'm telling happened between, generally between five and 15 years ago. So quite a period of time. Um, you know, certainly my son and I have moved on, and it's not really an issue. The whole point of the detail in the stories, because you have to tell the whole story. There's the good, the bad, and the ugly. And if you leave any part of that out, you're not getting the whole story, uh, and you're not really exposing alcoholism and the mental health care disease of alcoholism unless you tell the whole story. So let's delve into this a little deeper. And the truth of the matter is, if you edit sections of your story out, then it's not a true story. It's not real. Uh, if you're not able to face the grisly, gory details of what happens to an alcoholic or what happens to the alcoholic in the family or the family itself, and if you don't you know, really go through these very, very detailed moments, um, the story will fall flat and it won't have the effect and it's not going to help anybody and people will see through it and it won't be relatable. If it's not relatable, you can keep scrolling. If this isn't part of your life, if you, you don't uh, understand it, uh, and if, if the experiences are not something that you've experienced in your life, then move on. Uh, there's no need to comment for things you don't understand. Um, that, that, that's very direct and it's very true. This is a, a thread that's trying to help people and it comes from a place in my heart to help other people. Uh, and then there's always also, you know, what would be Amanda's side of it? What would be my wife's side of it? Which I find very interesting because I tell both sides, although obviously she's not here, but let's, let's answer that question too. Now, Amanda's side of the story will be told in the book. Um, it, again, it's probably people say it's my perspective, but it's coming from someone who lived with her for 25 years and, and who knew her very well. I think I'm very qualified to give a detailed analysis of how she felt, how she thought, and, and how, how it worked for her. If she was in this room, I have no doubt that she would actually be proud of what I'm doing. If she thought, just by knowing her personality, that she was helping other people, um, I think she would be very proud of that. I, I know she would. Um, and I can speak for my son, because he said the same thing. He's very proud of uh, what we're trying to do here, uh, and which is help other families and expose this disease. Uh, if you don't expose this disease, if you don't tell people and explain it to people who are going through this, then no one's, no one's going to get help. And it's not going to go away by itself. It's a progressive disease. Unless you're able to nip it in the bud, it's going to get worse and worse. Exposing it, well, that's the enemy of the disease. And again, if you don't expose this disease for what it is and bring it to light and, and analyze every aspect of it and tear it apart and tear it down, well, <clears throat> it's going to permeate. It's going to continue. So if this resonates with you and you need help with either yourself or a loved one in your family, I like working with families that have an alcoholic in their family. Set up a, you know, set up a breakthrough call, see if I can help you. I can certainly give you a blueprint of where to go, what to do. Um, the call is free. Coaching program, not so much, but if, you want, if you're ready to commit to change your life, uh, the link is in my bio. It's, it's in the calendar link in the link tree. Set up a time. And again, please like, share, and comment. And again, we have a Facebook group called Amanda, a cautionary tale of alcoholism. It's become a very good support group, and we talk about alcoholism, every issue attached to it uh, every day. There's all kinds of people in there. And again, thanks for listening.